What is up everybody? I know, two videos like back to back in a row, no breaks. Yeah, I know you're excited. So, this is gonna be a quick video today. I just kind of wanted to talk about the Canon R5 and it's overheating. I know, I just made a video about the Canon R5 new firmware that allows it to basically not overheat anymore. But I've seen a lot of people talk about Canon being shady and stuff with their firmware and you know how it was fake from the beginning about the camera overheating if obviously they're putting out firmware that works and i just wanted to put some speculation out there on the other side of things in canon's favor now in the past i have you know put them out there because of some really ridiculous stuff but also if you think about it from an engineering standpoint or just a marketing standpoint there are a few things that could have happened that you know, made this go the way it did. So let's just get into that. First, I'm not gonna do a full cuts thing. I'm just gonna say, click that link in the description for some awesome discounts on some awesome clothing. They have women's, men's, long sleeve, short sleeve, fall, winter. Just click it and check it out. It won't hurt. So, Canon R5 from the beginning overheated. When it first came out, it was really bad. Uh, you couldn't really do much with it. I remember being at weddings and having to stop recording for 20, 30 minutes at a time after every 20, 30 minutes when it was hot out because it just, it didn't work. And new firmware came out over and over to make it a little bit better and better and better and the camera became very usable. But now Canon came out with a very new firmware that allows the camera to basically just not overheat, which is awesome, we love that. But some people are, are speculating or saying, or you know, people might be thinking, and I've seen on Facebook groups and stuff, that this has been fake from the beginning and Canon is just bamboozling us. Now, I don't really see the purpose in them doing that. There's no marketing gain to that. They'd be losing money because I've seen plenty of people say they don't wanna buy the R5 because it overheats. Now, there's a, there's a few possibilities. Maybe they just didn't do enough testing before the cam camera came out. And in my opinion, I would imagine instead of putting out a camera that breaks itself by melting, they would rather put out firmware that prevents it from doing that even if they don't have like, you know, surefire data that says it will melt and explode um, rather than having the PR nightmare of cameras exploding and, you know, not exploding, but, you know, melting internally. Um, I feel like having a restriction would be better than having a camera that breaks. Because if their camera breaks after being used, just normal use, then that's going to be a pretty big nightmare for them. Whereas if they just put out firmware that says, hey, don't let them use it past this temperature or this time limit, then it's gonna look a lot better. People are still gonna be mad. I was mad, but I would rather have a camera that doesn't break itself, that has some you know limitations than anything. Um, and then the camera's been out for quite a long time now, so it's very possible they've done a lot more research and testing and you know some more coding to the firmware to make sure that it doesn't melt on the inside. And now they're putting out firmware to say, hey, the camera's not gonna overheat. Here is some awesome firmware. That's just my guess. Um, there's probably a lot more scenarios that could have happened, but I just wanted to throw that out there in Canon's favor because I'm always kind of yelling at them. And I wanna be on their side for once. Um, so that's really it for this video. If you wanna see more about the firmware updates and stuff, you can click up here. And uh, that's really it for this video today, guys. Hopefully it put a little bit of insight into your minds. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one.